Good morning from Tennessee. So we are home away from home for the week. And I'm Erin and welcome to Love and Veggies with Erin. That's me. So anyhow, a lot of you have asked about how I make my chocolate cherry cauliflower oatmeal and wanted to see how I do it. So I'm going to show you now. It's a little bit different than I normally do at home um, because I'm batch cooking right now for my entire family that's here. So um, bear with me. The measurements might not be 100% on the money um, this first time, but when I get home and I do one or two bowls at a time, I can write down the measurements uh, a little bit more accurately for you. But anyways, here we go. All right, first thing we're going to do is mash up some potatoes. Now, since this is not a stainless steel pan and it's a nonstick, I don't want to scratch it. So I'm just going to peel these three bananas. You can use frozen. Um, I definitely recommend using ones that are a little bit past their prime because they're sweeter. Um, this one is the last of my bananas, so I'm just gonna throw it in with it to give it a little bit added sweetness because my in-laws are having breakfast with us also, and they're not quite used to having breakfast um, the way we do, and their taste buds are you know, used to the standard American diet, which is full of a lot of processed sugar. So we're gonna add as much natural sweetness as we can, and this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna peel these, throw them in a bowl, mash them up till they're almost liquid. Then we're gonna take the mashed bananas, put them in the pot, along with one bag of frozen rice cauliflower and some vanilla extract. Normally, I also use almond extract. Almond is my favorite in this, but because we're home away from home, I forgot it. So, here we go. Okay, so what we have here is the frozen rice cauliflower. I did not cook it yet. It's still frozen. Here's three mashed bananas that were very ripe. And I have four tablespoons of vanilla extract. Now, like I said, normally I like to use almond extract, so I would probably do two, two uh, almond and two vanilla, but we're making do with what we got. So that's the name of the game. So after this, I'm just gonna let the rice cook down a little bit. Now the rice will take on any flavor that it's cooked with, very similarly to um, shredded zucchini and also tofus like that. So it won't really take on the, the banana flavor per se, but it will take on the sweetness and it will take on the vanilla flavor. So I'm just gonna cook this right now. It's on uh, like between medium and high. So we're gonna cook that until it defrosts. And then we're going to add in oats. Right now I have quick oats. Normally I use like old fashioned, um, if it's me at home. Um, I did cacao powder, which is basically the same thing as cocoa powder. It's just less processed. So that's kind of the name of the game. We wanna edge out all the processed stuff and have it as whole foods and as natural as God gave it as we can. That's what's best huh, best for our body, better body. And then we're gonna do some dark sweet cherries. These are just frozen, they're already pitted. Um, if you have some at home that you've picked like we do and you froze them, by all means, do that. I'm actually just gonna use a whole bag because like I said, my in-laws are not quite used to how we eat that has less sh like sugary stuff in it. So the added natural sweetness is probably better for them and also for teens. I have my teen daughter with me and also my toddler. So we're gonna add in the whole bag of um, cherries and then we're just gonna use uh, water to go with it. And then usually what I do in my bowl is I add soy milk to it to make it creamy. So here we go. We're just gonna cook this down and when it's thawed out, we'll be back. All right, so the cauliflower is defrosted. <clears throat> the bananas are smushed and cooked and the vanilla extract, so it's nice and hot and bubbly. So now we're gonna pour in the cherries and we're gonna let them cook down a little bit, not a whole lot, but a little bit because they're frozen. 
they will release all their moisture, which is what we want, because it's going to go into the cauliflower. Again, the cauliflower is going to absorb the flavors. So we're going to let this cook down just a little bit until the cherries are soft. And then I'm going to add in about, I'm going to say five tablespoons of the cacao powder or cocoa powder. Normally at home, I do this all on microwave in one bowl. So it's really not quite as lengthy. Um, it's not a big process, but I usually do about one tablespoon of cocoa powder or cacao powder per bowl. Um, and I usually have about a cup of oatmeal. So I'm going to just be on the safe side and do five tablespoons because we're going to add about four cups of quick oats and then I have eight cups of water measured out that we're going to add to this. So we're going to let this, the cherry soften up a little bit. Then we're going to add the cacao powder and then the quick oats are going to cook quickly. So we're going to add them last. All right, guys, that went super quick. Cherries are mostly defrosted. Cauliflower's in there, banana's in there, vanilla extract is in there, or use almond extract, and the cacao powder is in there. So I'm con continuing to stir it so it doesn't stick, and in a second, I'm going to add the oats. Holy bananas. So I've never batch cooked quite this much before. So there's four cups of quick oats in here, <clears throat> eight cups of water, one bag, 12 ounce bag of cauliflower, rice cauliflower, um, this bag of cherries, which is a pound, and five tablespoons of cocoa powder. Uh, I think it was four tablespoons of vanilla extract. And we're going to let this cook down a little bit. <clears throat> Might take a minute because there's, you know, there's a lot of oats here. And if it looks like we need to add a little cocoa powder, more cacao powder, I will. But for right now, I'm just kind of going to let it cook and do its thing. And I'll taste test it as it gets a little bit closer to the end of the cook time. What? All right. Here it is, a big old pot of chocolate cherry oatmeal for the family. So I let it cook down just a few minutes, so it's pretty thick. And I cooked it on like a medium, medium high heat. So I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to cover it to keep it <clears throat> warm for a moment and then I have um, let's see where's the lid there it is there we go we'll let it stay warm for a minute and I have here's our bowls so fancy and then if you want it creamy we'll add a little bit of soy milk if the in-laws want it sweeter they can add a little maple syrup or I also have these dark chocolate. Now these are, um, they're free from a lot of allergens, so they don't have dairy in them. But what they do have is um, right there. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. So it's unsweetened chocolate. It does have sugar. See, it's cane sugar. And it does have cocoa butter, which is basically oil. So... If you're going to do this and you are sugar-free and oil-free, I would go very sparingly on the chocolate chips. <clears throat> but they add a nice little treat to sprinkled on top of your oatmeal as you serve it, and it's beautiful for presentation. All right, I'm going to serve myself. As you can see, it's quite thick. So if you like it a little less thick, you can add a little more water or you can also add a little splash of soy milk or vanilla soy milk if you have it. I'm only just going to do a little tiny bit. Mix around to thin it out. 
And then I'm going to add the teeniest, tiny little bit of chocolate chips. And there it is. So, like I said, I have my in-laws here staying with us, and we are home away from home. So I don't have everything that I normally would have in my kitchen, like my almond extract. Um, I don't have my regular oats, my old-fashioned oats. I have quick oats, but that's okay because we make do with what we have. And that's kind of the beauty of this is that you can throw things together and it still is going to taste amazing. Um, we have maple syrup, so for those who don't, um, who need it more sweet, we can add some maple syrup. If you have date paste, you can add that. If you have um, more fresh bananas and you want to slice them up on top, you can do that. If you have more cherries you want to add on top, you can do that. Um, the vanilla soy milk, you can do that. That is a really nice addition. Um, so eating this way, um, adding, bulking it up with the rice cauliflower. So we're going to be gone for the whole day. We are headed to Pigeon Forge for the whole day. Um, into the evening, we're actually going to see, um, we're going to a dinner theater this evening. So I want to make sure I'm making healthy choices from the beginning of my day all the way into the evening. We are, I did opt to have a vegetarian dinner meal um, at the theater. However, I also know that vegetarian means they're probably going to cook with oil. They're probably going to cook with margarine or some kind of plant butter that I typically do not have in my diet. So I want to make sure I start my morning out really strong. That's going to include some vegetables. So I put the rice cauliflower, the little sneaky cauliflower in my oatmeal. I'm also going to have a side of green beans because I love me some green beans. Um, so my plate will be 50-50 plate. So 50% starch, 50% non-starch. Um, the non-starch, which would be the green beans and the rice cauliflower, that's going to add bulk. That's going to add a lot of nutrition. However, the starchy part is the oatmeal. Even though they're instant oats, our body will process them a little bit quicker than if they were the old-fashioned oats, the extra thick oats, or the original form of the oat groats. Um, it's okay for it to be the instant oats or the quick oats because it's still a starch and our bodies will still hold on to them much longer. So this will keep me full for a long time, which is great because we're going to be walking around Pigeon Forge. We're going to be driving around. We're going to be seeing things. We're going to be going places, doing things. And there's going to be a lot of food that I would love to have, but would not be good for me or my body or my goals. My goals are to continue to lower my thyroid medication, to continue to keep my weight at a healthy BMI. Right now I'm at a healthy BMI, so I would like to keep it there. And um, the oil and the butter and all that stuff just doesn't do it for me. Um, it makes me feel incredibly unhealthy and bloated and disgusting, and I just don't like it. The cleaner I eat, the better I feel. The better I feel, my family likes me better because I'm in a better mood and I have more energy and I'm not grumpy and I'm not miserable and I'm not feeling well. So again, it's really important to start your morning strong with some vegetables. So whatever your vegetables are, um, do that, whatever your favorite vegetables are. Also, um, the oatmeal, you really do not taste the rice cauliflower and you can also add shredded zucchini to this and or oatmeal. Uh, and or cauliflower um, because you don't taste the shredded zucchini either. So whatever you have on hand. Um, if you have a bumper crop in the summertime and you freeze your shredded zucchini, everything comes together super quick, super healthy, and super cheap too. So anyhow, that's pretty much how I make my chocolate cherry cauliflower oatmeal and I hope you guys give it a try. It's really delicious. Um, like I said, once I get home to my home home in New York, I can put together what like a normal size um, batch or a bowl for me would be. And I usually do use the almond extract too because personally I really like it. So that is all and I hope you guys have a great day. And if you're on YouTube, 
go ahead and follow me and click the like button and I will definitely be adding more videos because you guys are asking for them. And this is really easy to do. Um, it's inexpensive, it's crazy healthy, and I wanna show you guys how to do this. So if you're in the mood for losing some weight and getting healthy and getting rid of reversing diabetes or high cholesterol or lowering your thyroid medicine, I'm your gal. So stay tuned and I will hook you up for some more stuff. All right. Bye guys. Have a blessed day.